congratulations. Get down, Marks! Well, before I let you take the easy way out, I will kill you myself. Your brother was an addict. You know, Deed. No, you killed him. His death was the result of natural selection. If anybody's responsible for his death, you are. You know that. I'm not what you've been chasing. You want to be forgiven. You've been chasing absolution. It's overrated. I'll see you in hell. Rachel, it was a dream. You feel guilty for Danny's death. Marx is a manifestation of those feelings, but you're not responsible. The addiction killed him. I keep thinking the phone's gonna ring. And I'll hear him say, hey, kid. It's only been three weeks. Did you come back too soon? Not soon enough, as far as getting Marx is concerned. I spoke with the director. He agrees moving you to a safe house would be prudent. No, I'm not going anywhere until we find Marx. He left this so I would find him. The key's key, he said. We got something. On Marks? No, it's a local surround the body. I've never seen anything like it. He was microwaved. At least that's as far as I can figure. On the outside, the picture of health, but based on the condition of his internal organs, they reached a temperature in excess of 155 degrees. These are the only wounds? They're not deep. They're less than three centimeters. What do we know about him? It's uh, Carlton Foster, 26, a hack driver. He was found sitting on the throne of the men's room of a luncheonette. No priors, no family. Moved to Atlanta from Chicago six months ago. Former address is unknown. I didn't know that technology existed to do this kind of thing. I've heard about it, but I've also heard it's classified. Excuse me. Malone. Weird, huh? Oh. Copies of every single file on my desk. Yeah. So not you. Are you fighting no, postpartum? Well, I do, but Jason. I cried my eyes out every single morning. That's why I'm bringing him to work. Grace, he's beautiful. Thank you. How are you doing? You still not sleeping? You can call me. I am up most nights. It's been a matter of pride for me for 25 years. I assume you selected me because I believe in a clear separation of personal feelings and work. I did it because for you, they are one and the same. It's been three weeks since the death of Agent Burke's brother. I expected to see more damage. Things will work out. As I promised. Believe me. It better. Believe me. your background, you keep an exceptionally low profile. Proof, I suppose, that necessity is the mother of adaptation. For a man with your background, you keep an exceptionally low profile. Proof, I suppose, that necessity is the mother of adaptation. For a man with your background, you keep an exceptionally low profile. Proof, I suppose, that necessity is the mother of adaptation. It's called nanotechnology. Microscopic chemical structures. Nano machines are injected into the bloodstream by means of a three-pronged device. In this case, yes. Although I don't know, I think a simple syringe would probably do. And the chemicals convert the body's natural electrical impulses into high-frequency microwaves. The victim was incapacitated within 15 seconds, dead within 30. Do we know where the delivery device is manufactured? Since there's no known component, I don't, it would have to be a hybrid. Extremely sophisticated, could have been made anywhere in the world, except your local machine shop. All the people our cab driver worked with, neighbors at his apartment complex, they say he was a quiet beer and sandwich kind of guy. If he had enemies, it's doubtful they were high on the technological food chain. 
The use of advanced weaponry on a random kill. Could have been a test to determine its effectiveness. If this technology has been co-opted by a deranged individual or a terrorist organization, we could be looking at a major breach in the security of high-end technology. Give me Art Kavanaugh at the Bureau and Jane Butler at the State Department. Did you make that connection we talked about? I was just about to tell her. It's like I told you, this kid Burke applies for a job. Uh, on the dock, moving pallets, minimum wage. And another guy shows up, says he wants the kid to get the job. And lays a thousand cash on you to make sure? Was this the guy? Yeah. Uh, that's not recent, though. Uh, when I saw him, he had a beard. Why is the FBI busting my stones over a nickel and... Danny Burke is dead. Oh, man. Kids like him, they work here for a few weeks and they disappear. You don't think anything of it? Did he tell you why it was worth a grand? He, uh... Said the kid has a sister. Wanted to get in her pants. Look, this is the third message I've left Congresswoman Archer. She wants me to provide personnel folders on all VCTF employees. You tell her she's not going to get them until I know why. Thank you. So, nanotechnology had its roots in Cold War Europe. KGB was involved in the early stages. As the Soviet economy went deep six, they needed a partner. For R&D, North Korea seems most likely. Cab driver. Maybe he is a test case, like you said. Or maybe he's not a cab. I haven't been able to dig up anything on him. If driving a cab is his cover, it's Kevlar. George, I need you to pull the personnel folders on all VCTF employees. Have them on my desk before end of day. What's up? Performance appraisals. Long overdue. Are you ready for your thank you? Jimmy? Jim? Oh, God! The loading dock foreman identified Marks? And he's willing to testify. To what? Marks didn't force Danny into an overdose. No, but he bought Danny a job at a pharmaceutical company knowing that he would succumb to temptation. That's willful intent. We have a confirmed sighting. We can work that. But you can't prosecute that. When we find out what that key means... Rachel. What if the key is meaningless, except for what it's doing to you? What if Marx gave you that key for the same reason he arranged for Danny's job? To help you destroy yourself. I won't let that happen. Hi. Anne Hathaway, homicide. Rachel Burke. It's okay to go in. Oh, yeah, I think all the damage we can do. Call if you need anything. Thank you. Scene said neighbors described Larrabee as quiet, low key, not a lot of visitors. What are you getting? So much to get. Not that I'm not getting anything. I mean, look at this house, Bailey. This life is a 48 year old man, and there's nothing to suggest friends or family. It's no sense of permanence. They were targeted because they lacked family or substantial relationships. I don't know that that's why they were targeted. I just know that that's what I'm getting. I broke down the nanomachines looking for the tag and agent, something that we can use to trace the lot numbers back to their source. He's sleeping so soundly. Okay, George. What is it? What's wrong? Okay. 
Bailey requested personnel folders for every member of the VCTF. Oh, God, I'm right. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. What reason would he have? What reason did he give? Performance appraisals. Well, there you have it. <laughs> okay. We're all getting a bonus because our cost per conviction rate was the butt of congressional jokes. George, why do you always do this to yourself? Hmm? Are you telling me this doesn't worry you? Four years we've been here. He's never once asked for personnel folders. And come on, we both saw Bailey's testimony on the Hill. Karen Archer sucker punched him into next year. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad? Who is it? John Michael Grant. The loading dock foreman is missing. Oh, God. John. His wife said he went out for a pack of smokes about 6.30 last night. Hasn't been seen or heard from since. He's dead. We don't know that. Mark's got to him. He killed him because he must have found out that he talked to us. We don't know that. Just like he got to Danny. Because he wants to get to me. Cracks are beginning to show. I thought that would make you happy. History is cluttered with the remains of cultures lost to the pursuit of happiness. We've got a man on the roof across the street, and we added a unit just up the block. Protecting me is a waste of manpower. That Rachel. He isn't interested in killing me. Instead of wasting our time waiting for him to come and look, get look, me. Look, look, just stop! For three weeks, you've been strong for your parents, strong for your brother. Rachel get the full apart. House. I'll call ahead and have Lieutenant Hathaway let us in. I think I may have something on the nano machines. I broke down the compound agent and I found traces of ethylene, probably used as a binding agent. Which carries an FDA tag and allows us to trace the compound to its source. Nice job, Chris. Well, thank you. Have a seat. Your baby boy is beautiful. Mm, thanks. You know, when you think about it, that's really what's important. So George was right. The personnel folders you asked George to get? We really do have a problem. It's routine house cleaning. Oh, that's what I said. We were both lying. So what are we talking about? The annual 20% dusting off? Or are they planning to broom us all out into the street? I called the congresswoman. Five times. So she's pissed off because you won't kiss her ring? And our future is based on this woman? You deserve to know the truth, Grace. I don't know what our future is. Let me know if you need anything. Yeah. The answer machine is digital. I bet George will be able to lift some old messages. You thinking the cab driver and Larrabee had a relationship? I'm thinking that they might have had a relationship that they didn't even know about. I mean, Foster and Larrabee, they lived lives that reflected average citizens, but what if they weren't average citizens and the killer knew that? What if he knew that their real identities had been erased because of something that they were hiding? Let's see what Larrabee might be hiding. The chair's been moved. Ooh. And you electricians did okay. Guess he doesn't like Iris. Lieutenant! Who went through the house? My unit. 
I don't know how that got overlooked. Could be from drugs. Arms trading. Reason enough to be erased. It's reason enough to get a bullet in the back of your head, not to become a victim of nanotechnology. I'll get an evidence tag and envelope. And double the amount of units keeping watch on the house. Life's been good to Agent Burke since Elmont Street. She wasn't Agent Burke back then. She's blossomed. You like her? Is that wise? Do you know why men who settled the frontier never named their horses? In case they had to eat them. I'll be in touch. Marks is responsible for the killings. He has to be. There's no other explanation. Bailey, I can't visit a crime scene or look at a crime photo without getting Joe Marks. Rachel. Do you want me to lie to you and tell you that I'm getting something when I'm not? Rachel. There are circumstances in your life that would challenge anyone's ability to focus. Bailey, no one has ever rocked my confidence, and Joe Marks is not going to be the first. We don't get to make that decision. I'm not making a decision. I'm getting the sense of Joel Marks because he's involved. As crazy as that sounds. <sighs> okay. When you say involved... I'm not saying that the killings were actually at his hands. I just get the sense that these urges are more than sexual, Bailey. He wants to dominate me. He wants to bring me on his side from a union. Well, we tried that when he asked you to wear a wire against Perone. You refused. Yeah, and by refusing, in his mind, I destroyed his career, impeded his conquest. His original intent was to make you an ally. When you wore a wire against him, you betrayed him. Maybe his victims also betrayed him. Joe Marks is self-destructive. His targets wouldn't be people that hurt him. They'd be people that helped him. I put together a list of former agents who worked under Joel Marks, who for one reason or another got reassigned. It's a funny word for it when you consider the circumstances under which they left the VR. Yeah, one forced to reassign following allegations of sexual misconduct with a paid informant. Another reassigned to Anchorage, Alaska. Two weeks after refusing to testify on Marks' behalf over a bad shoot. 25 years with the Organized Crime Division, that's everyone who ever pissed off Marks. Obviously, Foster and Larrabee are not among them. A lot of OCD agents were under deep cover. So there's another list floating around somewhere. This one was too easy to find anyway. The victims might not have been former agents at all. I mean, where's the challenge? Abusing an underling? Marks could just order them to do what he wanted. Maybe he did. Maybe Larry and Foster defied his command. Marks jacks them up on bogus charges, drums them out of the bureau, ruins their careers, persona non grata. Then why kill him? I mean, if he's already killed them. George, were you able to lift any messages off Larrabee's answering machine? No, sorry, they were all erased. Victims were people that Marx helped erase. People whose identity had to be altered because they helped Marx. Witness protection program. Georgie. Right. Federally protected witnesses. No problem. I know you're anxious. These things uh, need to develop. If all you wanted to do was kill her. I wouldn't need you. Destroying a career takes time. What do you know about careers? You only had one, and you walked away from it. I walked away because I realized a higher purpose. A purpose I gave you. And a purpose I can just as easily take away. Her principles are at issue, Joel. 
principles for which Rachel Burke is going to pay. I want results. I was able to access this information through our fraud division. Insurance fraud is the number one form of abuse by individuals in the Witness Protection Program. Foster tried to claim LASIK surgery on his insurance. Larrabee tried to write off a set of implants for his girlfriend. Yeah, I'm not making this up. Foster's real name is Nicholas Maloney. Went into the program after testifying against Francis Conway in 96. Larrabee's real name is Vincent Terranova. He helped build a case against Albert Sirico. Singing gone. Own the garbage removal business in every major city on the eastern seaboard. Government informants cooperating under the leadership of Joe Marks. Proof that Marks was behind the killings. But why? And where did he get his hands on this technology? Why was to get our attention? He already had our attention. The key is key. Bailey, it's me. What if the key isn't something I'm supposed to fear, but instead is supposed to be a gift? Look, I don't want to talk to you about it over the phone. I'll meet you in 20 minutes. Be careful. Right. God, I missed our talks. Get on it, haven't you? The key. It's not important for Bailey to know, only for us to know. Get in. Be good. I'm not going with you. Sure you are, Agent Burke. I'll tell you where. I want the route from Agent Burke's apartment to my home cupboard for any potential witnesses to the abduction. Sir, I'm Agent Perez. Surveillance is supposed to be 24-7. Why the hell wasn't Agent Burke provided an escort? Sir, we received a call negating that order. From who? From you, sir. He had your identity code and the proper command sequence. There are three phones in our apartment. They're all clean, except for the bugs that we put there. Now, she wasn't followed to my place. Marks knew where she was going and intercepted her. There's got to be something in that apartment, John. If there is, we'll find out. Would you like something? My gun. You're still blaming me for a weakness in your brother's character. 30 years in the making. Yeah, we 
all the weaknesses. I have something to tell you. I think it'll make you see me in a whole new light. But if after hearing it, you still want to kill me. There's nothing that you can tell me. Damien Canaris. What is it? It's a name. It's so much more. If there's a devil incarnate, and there is, it's Damien Canaris. And he's as insane as you. Now, if you'd give me back my 317 hand, can... Elmont Street. Be sure I didn't read about that in the Bureau newsletter. Damien Canaris. Thank you. What? They get through one of the checkpoints? That was Atlanta homicide. Oh, no. They haven't found her. I called to talk to Anne Hathaway, the detective on the Terra Nova murder. Atlanta homicides never heard of her. So she's working for Marks? She must have kept herself isolated from the other personnel at the crime scene. Marks was always an ideologue, a true believer who needed followers to help him ensure that good would triumph over evil. Now something equally seductive has taken him to the other side. They called it an unidentified bacterial onslaught because they didn't know what else to call it. By the time they find it, it won't matter. What does that have to do with 317 Elmont Street? The anonymous tip from the neighbors about the smell. Their occupation of that house was a violation of code. Their removal was due process. Due process. I'm not responsible for what happened. Butchered en route to deportation. Their heads and their hands removed to avoid identification. 17 people. A man with that kind of power. And he remains invisible. He has that kind of power because he's invisible. If you think he doesn't exist, that he's some kind of bureau myth, that's exactly what he wants you to think. You freed me, you know. When I realized you used a surreptitious wire to incriminate me, it became clear how meaningless my life had been. And that by rejecting the trappings of bureaucratic existence, I could see my path and fulfill my destiny to destroy Canaris. You have the original? No, not the original. The other one. His signature. I lifted that finger from, from Terra Nova's eyeball. Any two bit punk can erase his prints with acid. Canaris manufactured his. I can't do this alone. What did you get from that key? Why should I tell you? Because Damien Canaris hates you. It's over here. No hard wire. It's a transmitter. The signal's been going out over the air. What's the range? A couple of blocks. A neighborhood like this, the signal wouldn't go more than a block. Transmission ends here. These are the files he stole from the bureau. Who Damien Canaris is, he will tell you everything he knows, which is nothing. All of us in the Bureau knew that he existed, since there's no way to catch him. Well, you know how the bureaucrats think. You don't acknowledge the problem unless there is a solution. I needed you to acknowledge the fact that Damien Canaris exists. And now you do. And now you are in the perfect place to help me. For me to help you. Help you to rid yourself of a demon you didn't even know you had. Those 17 people. They were very important to him. Then why did he kill them? That's what you're going to profile. And through that, we'll find out who he really is.
Everything he knew about those 17 people, he kept him there. We've come this far. Do it with me. Don't shoot, lady. I don't have a weapon. I'm only security. Your statement notwithstanding, Joel Marks was found with his hands cuffed behind him. Your cuffs. Shot with your gun. There's powder residue on your hands, your clothes. An eyewitness saw you... Five minutes after the shooting. With the gun in her hand. During which time, Agent Burke was in pursuit of the killer. A man named Damien Canaris. Damien Canaris? Probably an alias. You know his whereabouts? Somewhere in the city. Description? Come on, man, what do you want from me? Don't file charges. Give us time to find him. A man with an alias. No known whereabouts, no description. I want to retire with a pension. The safe. We busted into it. It was empty. Your policy says it cannot provide you with an attorney. All my legal contacts are in Buffalo. Can the VCTF help me get an attorney? We'll get you whatever you need. I didn't kill him, Bailey. I wish I had. The evidence against her is overwhelming. Except that she didn't do it. Overwhelming. So, the only way I can see of freeing her, short of a protracted trial, is to discover the identity of Damien Canaris and nail his ass to the wall. Which no one before us has been able to do. We're going to devote all our resources to doing it. We'll split off a special task force whose sole reason for being is the apprehension of Damien Canaris. Excuse me. Malone. Yes, Mr. Director. No, sir, but I have full confidence in Agent Burke's innocence. Yes. That's not possible, sir. Well, there's no justification for it. 
Yes, sir. The VCTF has lost its funding. Effective immediately. You won't be receiving more assignments.